In this video, I'm going to show you the Active Directory Lockout Troubleshooter tool. This tool will help you find the source of account lockouts in Active Directory. So what this tool does is it will go pull um, the lockout events from your domain controllers and put it into an easy to read format. So you can see here I've got um, several users. It shows the event 4771 and 4740. Uh, 4740 is the lockout event and then it shows the source uh, IP address or computer. So you can see this Barber Perry account uh, was locked out on PC1. Um, and then, so you can change the time frame by default. It'll check the last seven days. Um, you may have a lot of logs, and so you can narrow this down. All you gotta do is click run, and then it's gonna go get those lockout events from your domain controllers. So let me demonstrate here. Let me pull up an account. And I'll just enter a wrong password. Now if I come back and run this, I should see Alan Johnson. And it should, there it is. And it shows that Kerberos pre-authentication failed. So the account's not locked out yet. It's just showing that it is uh, had a failed authentication attempt. And it's showing you uh, the source is dot eleven. Um, it's also happened on another computer on dot twenty. So if I come back, I'll put in a couple more bad password attempts. Okay, now the account is locked. So if I come back to the tool, click run. There, there it shows me the account is locked out. Um, so Alan Johnson on PC1 shows the time, shows the account was locked out, and then it shows you uh, which domain controller, which it's replicated, so it's shown on both domain controllers. Um, so an also included with this tool is password reset tool, which you can quickly check for locked accounts. So if you click for check locked accounts, it's gonna show you I've got several accounts locked. It's gonna show you the lockout time, uh, last time their password would reset, and then you can select any account and click unlock. So very, very useful tool, um, and again, you can change your time frames here. Uh, the point of that is you may have a lot of logs, and this could take uh, a while to load everything. You can see there, I got quite a few. But it's just going to go grab the events 4771, 4740 from all your domain controllers and show you the lockout failures for the pre Kerberos pre-authentication fails and then the lockout events. And then you can also, if you got a lot of logs, you can uh, you can search. So if I want to search for a specific user, I can just search the grid and it'll filter the results for me. And then you can also um, filter on any of the columns. So maybe if I want to just see all of the events for Albert, I can do it that way. And then you can click on any of the columns to you know rearrange them by time sort them by username. So that's it, very, very easy to tool to use. Uh, you do need to have the audit logs enabled, which I have a, a document I'll link to that shows you how to enable uh, the, the correct logs so this tool can pull them. Um, but yeah, that's just one of many tools included in the Active Directory Pro Toolkit. I will also link to this in the notes. Thanks for watching.